Kia ora e te whanau, ko Nova Paul Toku Ingawa, ko Ngāpui Toku Iwi, ko Mongarongo Toku Marae, ko Whatateri Toku Maunga, ko Waipau Toku Awa. This work is definitely um, situated in a kaupapa Māori framework, by Māori, for Māori, of Māori. So I'm working with my whānau. The film itself, through the Technicolor process, builds the environment, and then we know as Māori that we build the environment, and then we build up each other as well. So there's a number of different things that I've done in this film. Around the idea of tēnā ranga tiritanga, firstly it's my whānau being themselves on our whenua, doing what we like to do. Manakitanga, looking after each other. Kaitiakitanga, being in the environment, looking after the environment. And Fanongatanga. I think of myself as somebody who's in love with film. When I was at university, I did an art history degree. I ended up joining all these clubs and making handmade films and band posters and stuff like that. And I saw these amazing filmmakers from Australia called Cantrells, who are super famous experimental filmmakers. And so they approached filmmaking as a science rather than it being something that I could think of. Oh, you could actually really aestheticise that space to do something about telling a story about how we live in the world or our relationship with the environment or how people connect, you know, um, our whakapapa. So I'm just going to get some pareri. Pareri is such an amazing tree. We use pareri up in my marae in our tangi. So when somebody passes away, we use it to remind us that we're going to return to the whenua. For the um, rako that I'm working with, I'm interested in the, the parako that comes from each tree. So each tree will have a specific whakapapa connected to it. When I start a new film project, I spend quite a bit of time conceptualising and thinking about how it might align with the kaupapa that I'm interested in. Traditionally, when films are hand processed, they are washed in a chemical bath. So in this latest film that I'm working on, I have developed a plant-based developer. So I've been really interested in refining that so that I can film trees and then use the leaves from those trees to make the film. This is a Bollings camera. We put the film inside here, and then the film runs through the camera. These cameras were really designed to be in the field in the late 1940s, 1950s. Yeah, this is what we shoot on. Working with 16mm film, which is the medium that I work with, it's what I call a kind of haptic process. It's analogue, so it has a relationship with your body and your hands, and it means that I can use it like a material. That's pretty much my favourite tree in the world. Can that one? <laughs> so. Um, we're just collecting, now I'm busy collecting foliage from different sites. And this is the tree grove that these trees are from that we'll go back and film and then use the leaves to process the film. We need a wash in the process. I'll get some water from the actual rahi where I'm actually getting it from. So this one's from, this one's from a kiwi, which is where these ones are from. And this one's from awana, from the, the, the awa there. So for me, what's really specific to this is really thinking about the wairua of Rako and the whenua and the mori that comes out of an art making practice as well as all things around us. So we're always thinking about how we can elevate the mori in the artwork. This is all developed with the tree juice. We've used film stock in a stills camera and just we've gone through and tested every um, exposure to see what kind of quality of image you can get. So that's pretty exciting. And then over here we've got um, the stills here, so those are the scanned images, and these are the stills. You know, it's quite funny seeing my Pano in the gallery. In a way, we, and as figures moving through this gallery space, almost a ghosting like figures in the film. So for me, it's quite a sort of interesting space. The space is we are here, but we'll pass and you know, what's going to stay is the whenua. I love work that brings out the joy in people to elevate a notion of tēnā ranga tiritanga and to really speak to our wairua. And when I'm committed to a take, I hope that it's going to transform me. And I hope that some of that comes through in the film. 
film is a very manipulative form in lots of different contexts, so it wouldn't be unusual that I wouldn't actually want to somehow use that space to create some elevation of our wairua. Mita araha. Yeah. Kia ora.